Extra fighting chance for another oh, yeah. two seconds to maybe turn yeah, the tables. Yeah, you're at two six. But that who's going to turn the tables here? Dill has been playing back to back to back. No time to rest. They have banned every single stage. Where on earth are we going to? Three, I was hoping it was a button check one, and we were going to uh, like uh, Pokey floats. What's the pirate ship? That's the pirate one. bay. Oh, that would that's, that's the button check stage that Dill usually goes to. Ah, yes. No, no, they already did their button check. We're going back into it. All right, Carflow yeah. on winner's side, the grand finals. And Dill lost a heartbreaker, too. She was visibly upset after losing that uh, winner's semis set, two to one to Carflow. But Carflow has been playing on a different level lately, able taking a number of Xenos and looking to add another notch to his belt. Right, it's a very big belt at this point. Oh, yeah. This this kid may be young, He's got that waistband. Belt. Oh my gosh! Namora, get this kid a belt. That's right, please. <laughs> and with a few citrus for us. Yeah, I think Dill's getting frustrated because they know how far they've like played, how many matches they've won so far, and to like get baited out like that for first stock, it can be demoralizing. Especially when they know they can play better. Oh, hell whoa. Sour fair into that Nair 1 conversion. 42% just like that. And Carflow's a player that likes to swing. So we're going to see these down fields attempting for the chase a little early, though, instead of reliably playing the tech chase. But I like that, right? You're at 95. You're sporting a ton of rage right now. So if I you mean, play oh to the corner. No. OK, good grab. That's what he did. He played uh, to the corner. Yep, but that's what happens when you delay that dancing blade. It can be a good mix up, but excuse oh. you, double edge dance. So you're right, double edge dance. <laughs> I am so sorry. I, if you didn't hear, I pushed up my glasses audibly. Yes, <laughs> clink. <laughs> All right, Carflow in control in this game, number one. But Fair having the jump down there. Oh, my gosh. Late. All right, desperate up smash. You've got to start swinging here, but you're at zero. You need to make the up. You need to take the chance, and the fall through the platform is so good there from Carflow. All right, Carflow having to let Dill come to them. Just play for time at this point. Five minutes. Oh, you can delay for five minutes. Carflow has been wanting these defensive options. Defensive Nair getting stuffed out. What? Multiple sour up airs, but hey, any damage is good damage here. All of this is extra credit and... All right. Carflow knows when they're licked. Yeah. But it's okay, it's only the first thought. Yeah, at this point, you've accrued enough information that you might just be able to win a War of Attrition so you can cash out on some of that extra info a little bit later. Right. But, but I also, you also I mean, know Carflow. He yeah. likes to be a little extra explosive. Oh, definitely. And Roy, a very explosive character here. Much better choice uh, against Rob than Prom, I would say. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Carflow just trying to throw things out to cover every single landing option that Dill has and answering correctly every time. Ooh. An unfortunate swing. All of that work be stuffed out by a back air. You know what's really cool about this? Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna yeah, let's, let's talk about I'm gonna, this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna refresh my page a little bit. Hold on. So, one of the biggest things about Roy is that. Yeah. I'm gonna go back. Hold on. See it right here. Roy in midair is a moving cannonball, but cannonballs have no acceleration. So, You're getting right. from here to here is really hard. Right. He had to jump down. So, he, landed, land. so he landed on the platform right. so that he could back. get his full momentum into that dash jump instantly full speed, instantly heading one direction again as opposed to having to change direction midair. Don't worry about the acceleration. Just hit go. Yes. My god, Carful really plays like a car sometimes. Yeah. Zero to 60. Room, room. room. Oh my gosh. Dill, please. All right, still struggling to land. Yeah, these up airs from Carpo have been so good at just playing the jump out of shield game, like playing the like jump fair, jump nair type mix up. Like, no, I'm just up airing you for it. And it's typically safe, but caught Carflow shielding afterwards on that falling up air in order to find some extra advantage. But Carflow is the one with the ledge trap right now. Right. So fast being able to actually follow Rob into the air, challenge the vertical momentum. All right, what do we see here? Oh no, going maybe too far. This is a spike. What are we going to see for a trap? Okay, all right. Loving the patience from both sides, but Dill is running out of fuel. Okay, neutral is still not taking it. What a trip. What a weird trip. Oh, had three. No, what? Then, 
The Rekkas were so well timed. Bat one, two, three, and then a super late four when the up smash coming out. Dill how did that beat the, the up smash? It just it beat it before it came out. Ah. Oh. When you have it, you have, he was ready for ready to pull the trigger there, and like you see, up smash got a little bit of startup and not a huge scoop hitbox on, though it is on both sides. Right. I think I think the thing is Roy is a little too short. It's not going to catch specifically every single time. Okay, but how does Dill land? Okay, finally lands. I mean, trying to. Okay, get him out of here. All right, finally. First up smash of the set. First blood having been taken. We are still chopping away at these up airs though, and then that spot dodge, mm. setting up for a tech chase, but expecting the shield, so he just goes right into the grab. Nice little mix up there. Look at that blade. No. Oh, that that up beat was life saving. You explode there. You don't die right off the side, but you're set up for a beautiful edge guard if that arm rotor connects. Because and we're just seeing how quickly Rob can set up potential win conditions. Right at 150, this is definitely hard, but I would say very even as long as Carpool doesn't get one more hit. That's what Dill's been wanting all set so far. A call out Easy and a money. Yeah. You know, if, you're, if you're not gonna press a button, then well, I'll gonna, press it for yeah, you. I'm just gonna do it. And Dill has shown that lack of hesitation all bracket as another Blazer comes out in order to try and take the stock. But without Rage, and Rob being decently heavy, you're just setting up the same position. <gasps> what a call no, out. No, but he misses it. Nice little chap. Grabs it out of the Blazer. Okay. The patience. Uh, you have your jump. Okay, going for the instant upbeat, but now it's Dill's turn to finally get a chance to snowball a little bit. The air dust of the platform not reaching. Okay, no spike there. Wow, Into the blast zone. 76% extra credits. Dill still has to play patiently. Make sure not to get easy combo from a neutral air. Boy, here we go. Oh, the roll read there from Carfo was so good. And the foot, the Phantom Footstool as well. Just All right. Up airs. Great DI from Dill to uh, get away from the platform. <gasps> oh, hey, hey, take that. You take those. All right, Dill, a one All more right. game from resetting brackets. Carflow, one more win from taking the tournament. But hey, I'm not Mike Tarico. There's no asterisk on a video uh, on a victory. This W. Oh, is, that's what this happened. W is earned. You set up the no tech scenario. You set up the tech scenario, and they missed the tech. Sometimes it be like that. It sucks. Yeah. He should have hit it. Three, but he didn't. Two. It happens. Yeah, it was a forward air too. Yeah, frame size forward air. It's crazy button. Okay, my jersey came out. Crazy button. <laughs> crazy button. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I try to hide it. Is, is, is that your bagel order in the morning? No. Yo, can I get a crazy button on butter? I can imagine. Oh my God. <laughs> what is the crazy button? Uh, the crazy button is anything with ketchup. Because how do you eat ketchup in the morning like that? Jeez. All right. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. Oh, sour up air instead. Oh, another sour up air. None of these sweet spots that actually set up uh, for any juggles from Carflow right now, which is uh, a little tough. Oh, another footstool? Nothing come of it, though. Just trying to camp the platform in the air. Long out there is a sweet spot that Carflow's been looking for. But okay. Dill, yeah, Dill's not playing the recovery. Ooh. That's what I mean. You can just hover there and create the space to land with Nair. It's like, oh, if Rob's going to land with Nair all the time, like, just stuff it or parry it. You know yeah. what they're, they're going to do. It's like, well, they're hovering there, like, creating this extra space that wasn't there before. Has Dill ever considered maybe Dulce in the Street Fighter 6? Because that wouldn't be a bad <laughs> idea. All right. First blood from Dill. Got Looking to reset him. the bracket. Shout out to Dalsum, slept on character. Oh yeah, nobody plays him, but you should. <laughs> He's pretty good. With a Nair coming out just in time, but up air in the scramble. Carflow, he looks for that. He looks for scrambles and these like weird situations where he gets to press something like a, typically it's like an up air or a back air or something, but the forward smash there is the same general type of concept. Oh, that's what the crazy buck would be. Just one giant egg. Just one egg. <laughs> on, on, a, <laughs> on an open face bagel. And it would be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> that does, I could go for an egg sandwich. Mm. Anyway, Either way. Let's see what we get for scrap. Well, <laughs> as we discuss food options here in Chinatown, Carflow trying to close out this st uh, stock. 
Oh no. Well, prioritizing Gyro there was interesting, but I mean, it's, you have that extra option oh. and then the get up Ooh. attack. Okay, what, attack chase? All right, no jab. Yo, Carful's playing fast right now. Flash shield, spot dodges, up airs on reaction. I like Great the setup cover. that we had with the gyro covering that uh, landing option there. It's something that we saw versus melee, melee in the last set. What a tech. You're not able to get to ledge, though, so you Dill resets the situation. Ooh. Oh, oh okay. hello. All right, managing to get out of that. Very weird situation, but we're back on ledge, but Good. we're not even getting to ledge. There's there's no mix. I'm not playing the mix-up. I'm just ending the stock. Yeah, they're, no. they're tired of playing. They just want to win. Yo is ready for the reset. Trying to get there, trying to get a chance to snowball, but Carflow playing the landing situation. Yet still gets down for free. Oh no. No, I think Carflow has been too aggressive with those blazers. He has been punished the last four times. You get the extra mix up on the platform, whether you fall through it or land on top of it. So the damage was mitigated. But you're not gaining anything. You're just losing something, even if you do play the disadvantage well. Right, you're losing position. For sure. And Dill, perhaps oh, losing their third, second stock here. Delay. Oh, we are hunting. Oh, my goodness. The hunt is on. Yeah, we're, we're really head hunting right now. So it's just <laughs> swinging all over. A, a Carpool is a free agent, correct? Somebody headhunt this man and hire him and sponsor him. Oh, big damage. It's a simple punish. Sometimes an up smash is all you need, especially with a lot of rage and some good scaling going on. Okay. Comes some knockback growth. Another no again. If he just let the four, the third neutral hit go, that would have been the stock. Instead, it wow. takes a fair on a little bit of a greedy uh, peak from Dill. A good call out. All right, Carflow is the time to shine. Dill needs to close this out fast. If not, Carflow is going to snowball back. With the jump with the anti-air scouted, the up air connecting. Well played by the on the part of Dill as we get a look at that reset ceiling stock. I am so excited for true grand finals. We are here. Look at finally a jump from Ledge from Carflow, by the way. And yes. as I said before, Roy when moving in one direction. Amazing. But so of course, fast. Dill getting following right there. That's I mean, like you're trying to get from here and play the little bit of a shimmy game. Yeah, because where else do they have to land? It's like right here. Yeah, you're There's not nowhere else. Yeah, you're not able to get there. You're not you're landing here or you're landing here. It's very small when it comes to like the slowdown change in direction, mm -hmm. but it's very fast if he commits to going full uh, if full sends one direction. Carfo decides to change direction, land closer, and Dill right. is ready with the anti air. Oh my goodness. There's an up tilt into an up air. Yeah. It's really, really good stuff. True combo. Combo. All right. Hey, there he is. I think I think the mustache is coming out more. Respectable. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Facial hair supremacy, for sure. Mm -hmm. He's really thinking about this. Yeah, I mean it is. Ooh, Town and City or PS2. I'm liking the option for banning small. No, this is right. This is a starter stage again. Resets. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like this. We're getting out of that mono platform. We're not going to FD. We're not definitely not going to Battlefield where Rob can excel in these platform extensions. Instead, we head to Stadium. All right. Larger stage. You still get the two platforms at the edge. But uh, I would say this gives... This will definitely give Carflow a little more space to run. Yeah, you get that running start. You're able to get a, a little bit of place, extra places to retreat to. Uh, the side blast zones are a little closer, helping to seal stocks. Oh, that's good. But Rob gets to play at that real sweet spot range that they love to play at, particularly deal with a lot of her gyro play that's been going on tonight. Um, uh, that feeds into either being aggressive with it and turning it into down tilts, turning it into F tilts and things of the nature, or playing back whenever you have the robo beam online and get to just completely turn off a horizontal for maybe a half a second. Right, did you see that? Dill hung from ledge so long. And oh my gosh, from one missed forward air. Death. Carflow with an incredible answer to that. Ah, still very upset. Carflow showing no emotion. Who is the real robot here? The Roy niche. or Rob? The niche confirmed game does go crazy. Oh, and Carflow was looking for another Nair 1 setup, but 
not finding it in this in this time because of the anti-air from Dill. We said a really good job cleaning up this stock. What an air dodge. Holy. Man, every single up smash. Zill's got to stop going for those unless it's true. I know that they're trying to call out the, with uh, the aerial approaches, but it's not the answer. But that back here is the answer. Wow. Yeah, that's how you draw it up. This is all how you draw it up if you're a Roy player. Like, oh, I'm finding stocks at really low percents by finding cheeky confirms. Either anything that can set up into a sweet spot jab is everything for Carflow, and that's what he's been able to find. And it's just playing around up. You called it out earlier. Yeah. Swiss. Playing around up smash so perfectly that you're forced to take a back throw at 150, which if anybody is playing against Rob, if back throw is the one taking your stock, you are a happy camper. Yeah, and it's not like, oh god, it's not like these are like, uh, you know, very far misses for up smashes. These are like, I'm getting within like your center of like the sweet spot and just dodging it. Yeah. Barely. It's perfect. Okay, what do we see here for an answer? Okay, right. stuff. Got Dill just with these panic rolls. Carflow, I think, doing the smart thing here and knowing just when to stop. There's nothing scarier than a fast character just stopping and just waiting to burst out to making you answer first. To tangent ever so slightly. Yes, we love our tangents here. The, actually, I'll save it for that. I'll Aww. save it in between games. I thought, okay, I'm gonna I thought on the pin board for later, but yes. we've got to <gasps> see if Carflow is able to close out this game. Okay, we're going for another blaze up top. I can feel it. Oh, Sour not trying to be. Oh. But a blazer out of shield is going to take that stock. All right, I'm not sure if it's caught in any of the replays. Hard to say, hard yeah. to lag. Let's see, let's see. But Roy has been under a lot of microscopes, particularly in the European scene, because it's a really good Roy out there named Flo. Okay. Wait, and wait, is his name Flo? Flo. Flo, like car flow? Uh, but add a W, remove the K A R. Are they brothers no. from another continent? Uh, I don't know. What are the chances? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Flo. Anyway, Flo has been under the workshop with Roy, and what Flo used to really play like when he started picking up Roy yeah. was a lot of like what uh, Car Flo and Goblin like to do. They like to establish a situation, create that pressure, and turn it into big, big damage, big advantage. Yeah, and that certainly works, but. Carflow is taking a page out of New Flow's book, which is, hey, I'm just going to stand still for a little bit. I'm going to pressure with down tilt because of all my buttons, it is easily the safest grounded normal that he can press at any given so, time. So wait, are, are you telling me that Roy Mains have discovered waiting? Yes. <laughs> That's They're like, I don't have to do anything. And it's hilarious because at, when you have all of these tools that want you to go in, like it was Flo the first one that's like, hey, wait a minute, why am I just, why am I trying to create the situations when they can come to me? And it's like, finally, Roy players press down tilt yeah. and just like let and them deal with it as opposed to going instantly into jabs and staling your jab and then I can find reversals. No, it's Carflow just playing a fraction slower, but not in disadvantage. Still trying to rush that landing with a falling up air and getting anti air to yet again. Right, I think it's less of discovering the waiting game and more rediscovering how good the movie War Games is. Greatest thing, uh, the, the way to win is to not play. Okay, even stocks. Carflow just two more away from winning this tournament. I love that rise right there. Just like, I'm gonna hit you, but acknowledge that I'm frame negative, so we're just back in the same situation. And a neutral? Yeah. Oh no, these nares. But you know, you know who has a better down tilt? Rob. Rob has a real good down tilt. <laughs> Best in the game? Sonic uh, was talking about this earlier. Best in the game, I heard. Yeah, probably. I'd have to look at the cast and think, like, who has a down tilt? That's really good. And, like, Rob is, like, up there. Right. It's definitely up there. Oh, forcing the double jump with that uh, ang up angled robo beam. Super nice from Dill. Dill recognizing that Carful only had so many options there from the platform. Ooh, what? It's, sa it's safe. It's safe for no reason. <laughs> stop with the up smashes, Dill. There's one thing it's, to stop. It, it, they just continue to not work. It's Ooh. Is that the gyro uh -oh. that extended that? Okay, no. Hello. Yeah, that's just the activity. How how meaty back air is, wow. but how strong One Carflow. more stock. One more One stock more in stock. order to end this Zeno. 
Will we be going home right now? Or will Dill force a game three coming off of ledge with buttons? If your character doesn't have a 54% combo off ledge, what are you doing? That's right. Stop losing at the character selection screen. Yeah. Stop choosing Ganondorf. This is a... Talking this, to you, Dumpling King. This is a, a, a hate post for Game & Watch players. Stop <laughs> narrowing from ledge. <laughs> Please, it makes me sad. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh! Very nice Excellent. spacing there from Dill. Dill can still do this. Only 80% oh, is absolutely. wrong. Absolutely. Start camping. This is a hard winnable game. You got four minutes. You got four minutes to play. The free landing is there twice over. Hey, jab into up air. But once Carful gets a confirm, it's gonna be really hard. Oh, oh that damn! Oh. And then the recovery. No, get up attack. She was trying to kill him. She's oh. still trying to. No, kill him. he answered back with an up air. Up air. Get out of here. It's done. Wow. Hey. Air intercepted. Look, still looking great here if you're Dill. Carflo just no. looking for the final hit. A back air does oh it, and gosh. there it is! Carflo, the winner of Xeno 3 1 1. Sorry, Dill, my bad. <laughs> but hey, just gotta be that way. Yeah. It is. It was the win condition. Like uh, all these up airs, all of these up airs, they do one thing. They want. They force Dill to become the top priority in her head. Hey, I gotta get from where I am into out of up air range because I will just take damage until I explode, and I can't have that. Right. Oh, Dill missing the tech right there. It's unfortunate. I know we say it every single time, but it's something you always have to be cognizant of, okay. whether you're a beginner player or even a top player. Yeah, that's tough. That's another back. That back. Like taking the lead as we headed into the late game here. Like, from stock two, it was, he was at oh, 150, was and then at 170, he went to, he put Dill at 80. That's just right? duffed. Bam. I so love forward tilt taking it. I mean, I, at 187. I yeah. love Rob forward tilt. It's so funny. It's like the meanest left hook you'll ever see, or right hook. Could be a boxer, really. He's crazy. He's crazy but, with it. But what do we see here? But yeah, like right now, here, this right? Is situation. Let me, let me. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. please. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we we're go. Gonna, we're going to pause. Oh, it. no. We're going we're gonna to go back a couple more. Okay, okay. Check it out, right? Check him. This situation right here came after it was like an up air here and then like one right here, right? Right. So we're in the juggle state. We're sending, we're continuously putting uh, Dill back up into the skies to replay the same situation. Right. And that's first jump. Yes. Just, just for the audience here. So if we're resetting the same situation, it, same type of idea of yeah. Dill versus Melly, final stock of their set. We can reset the same situation and at 138, you know Dill has to do something. Right. Dill has to blink first. So, if Dill has to blink, then all you have to do is take count of what is Rob's options right here. Stall for longer, in which case, waiting is the correct yeah. answer. Well, if we see here, they're actually running out of gas. They've got True, eh, very... not too much left, actually. It's about medium, right? It's still medium, right? blue. So... Oh, is that blue? I'm a little yeah, colorblind. So it's, I it's, apologize. It's blue, it's blue, yellow, red. So it's uh. still on like the upper... Oh, you order. It, green. it looks it looks turquoise. Ah, whatever. What else? <laughs> anyway, zooming out here. We're back. We're back to this. So if Dill can still stall forever, and you, yes. she can stall for however long you want, and that allows Carflow to land, and then okay, I'm just gonna wait for you to do this and reset the same situation. So Dill has to still make the play first. And of all of Rob's buttons, it's either Nair or Air Dodge. Right. What Carflow chooses to do is play aggro from the platform. Mm -hmm. And this does two things. And it, wait. He can wait for the air dodge, or he can swing to stuff now. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of reaction. And now you can't see it, but Carful does have one stock. So obviously, if they wanted to wait, they recognize that if they get hit by a neutral air, it's going to put them in a bad position. But they are up one full game, which means that they can afford to either be aggressive and take and like take that hit, or just wait. This is a winning situation for them. Oh yeah. And like you can make, because Carful was in that situation, he can afford to make a play, which in the uh, in the world of coin flips, in the world of 50-50s, air dodge or no air dodge or nair, Carflow picks air dodge, mm -hmm. and it lands on heads. Yeah, and hey, even if it is a neutral air, a trade isn't bad. No, just it's reset bad. it. Yeah, yeah. He, he would have to press it earlier if it yeah. was neutral air, otherwise the neutral air would have won. Ah, so okay. that's why it's 50-50. You wait and hit the air dodge, or you swing and hit or trade with neutral air. Yeah. And Carflow guesses right. The 50-50 wins out. Carflow takes Zeno 3-11 with his Roy, solo Roy, dropping one set to Dill, but still taking the really? bracket. Really? No Chrom today? I'm I shocked. have not seen the Chrom now. Ooh, maybe I saw the Chrom out. Only comes out 
for, for like John. For, for John, yeah. yeah. Oh, I saw the cloud yeah. a little bit in friendlies, but all Roy and not bracket. the same. Yeah. Can we see that bracket? I would like to see who our top. I think you tried it a little is. bit, but oh, the, little bit. oh the bracket. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's see this bracket. Who came out on top here? Well, we saw Carflow, we saw Dill, and then Melly. Right, and then uh, I believe Dumpling King in uh, fifth. No, King then Dump King in fourth. Dumpling King, Dark Blues in fifth. Numbers and Helper in seventh. Wow. I believe this is uh, John's lowest placing in quite a while. Obviously, usually top four, if not top five, if they lose out to somebody like Dumpling King or King in brackets. But uh, anyway, GG's to everybody. This is a phenomenal bracket. I had a lot of fun. What about you? Well, what were your favorite moments here? Uh, easily in the crowd for uh, King, and King, King and Ray. Yes. It, it set the tone for the night, and it became a wonderful, wonderful bracket. From then onwards, uh, an, an even more hype bracket than we was already anticipating. Glad to have been here for the part of it. Glad to have been in the chair as yeah. we rounded out the night. It's been awesome casting yeah. with you tonight. Great pleasure, as always, here, Swiss, as uh, we got to end it out. First, of course, you know, we just got to shout out House. They're the goats. They're the guys. <gasps> oh, my gosh. It's a new card. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> they're the New York City premier production and you should consider hiring them if you're running an event at events at house at, at events at house of 3000.nyc or you can follow them on the bevy of tools including twitter twitter.com slash devin 2000 has 2000 and house of 3000 everywhere else including blue sky twitter's dying so head over there twitch which you're watching right now mm. youtube where all the vods are uploaded immediately and house of 3000.nyc slash discord for immediate updates before Devin even gets a chance to tweet them. Right, now, really quick thing, where it says hire us, and you're thinking, well, I don't run a tournament. It's a video production. They can do any sort of video you want. True. Your wedding, your dog's matrimony, now, your crazy. grandma's uh, uh, you know, funeral, a quad stream funeral, Whoa. I'd watch that. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Christ. nothing but respect. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of respect, <laughs> yeah, you gotta but... respect the boiling point. This Saturday over at Waypoint Cafe NYC, we're starting at 1 o'clock. We're starting with Street Fighter 6, moving on to Guilty Gear Strive at 4 p.m., and then Skullgirls at 7 p.m. Now, we did uh, switch up the lineup for Street Fighter 6 and Guilty Gear Strive, so that way you can go on to OS and play Street Fighter 6 and Guilty Gear there at, uh, let's see here, Guilty Gear's at 1 o'clock, and Street Fighter 6 over there is like 4 ish, so that's why it's like, okay, if you want double Street Fighter, one o'clock, then head over to OS. Or come to us first, and then over to, head over to OS. But Skullgirls, always prime time. But uh, you know what is always prime time here? The Xeno Weeklies. Every Ooh. single Wednesday, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but it is worth reiterating just how good they are every single Wednesday. Still the premier local in New York, and one of the premier locals in Tri-State, period, happening every single Wednesday. You can register for the bracket at Sergeant G.G. Sky Xeno, Literally tomorrow for the next week, everything streamed here at House of 3000. We just talked about how great, how goaded those guys are, and all the updates at Devon 3000, including their Monday event, which can, happens every single Monday. Yeah, same venue. Don't sleep on this. You know you're gonna get the best friendlies here. People are always willing to give uh, feedback, and once you've grinded your little heart out, you can always come to Waypoint Warriors on Tuesday at Waypoint Cafe NYC. That way you can be prepared for. Xeno Weekly on Wednesdays. So, uh, you know, get your practice in on Monday, get your practice in on Tuesday, and then finally prove yourself right here at Xeno. Plenty of locals to consider. Plenty of smashing to be had uh, across Tri-State, across New York, and into the future as well, because there's events planned already into 2020, 2024 here in New York and here with House 3000 with like Let's Make Big Moves and stuff. Collision, I'm ready to make it Let's Make Collision Big Moves. 2024, like all that Wait, that's stuff. already set up? Oh yeah. my god. March. March. Same, I'm gonna go. That's same, my birthday. Same venue. <gasps> Persephone. But that'll be the end of tonight for us. I've been Ubel, joined by Swiss Rider and occasionally also chimed in by Devin 3000. Here. Signing up. Have a good one. Good night, everyone. <laughs>